Hey everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fango, here to review episode 5 of Koi to Uso, or Eleven Lies. Okay, yeah, that played out exactly how I thought it would with uh, Yukari and Nisaka. Yeah, of course he's not gonna admit his feelings to him, because, you know, this is an yaoi anime, and that's not gonna happen. Um, <laughs> yeah, I predicted that. I was like, yeah, he's not gonna... I mean, he got... He didn't even get that close to doing it. I'm just like, yeah, there's no way. <laughs> so yeah, they all go on a camping trip. And um, they just have a fun time, really, and just kind of see some fireflies. Uh, the girls are in swimsuits, you know, at one point. So it's like, okay, this is a pretty chill episode where not a lot happened, really. But um, yeah, besides, you know, everyone talking about, oh, you know, I like... I'm just like, okay, I get it, oh my gosh. But here's something interesting, though, is about Yukari, is that he has a love for, like, ancient burial grounds or something, and he and he's really passionate about it, and, well, <laughs> the girl notices, Rinina notices that, and she finds out through Nisaka that, you know, if uh, he was to reject her, is that it'd be hard for him to get into college, and basically be hard to get the job that he wants. And she wants to not have that happen. She notices how passionate he is about it. So now she's stuck between a rock and a hard place because it's like, well, at one thing, you know, she wants to help Misaki and her whole deal and situation. But now, on the other hand, she's like, well, now I want to help him, you know, be able to achieve his dream. Because if they don't get married, then his dream ain't gonna happen. It's gonna be bad for him. Her, she's not gonna get a penalty from, him, but he definitely will, apparently. So. Yeah, that's a problem. Otherwise, what she could do, though, is that, I don't know, does it work the same way? You know, if she rejects him, does she get the penalty only and he doesn't? And it'd just be hard for her and her life, but not sure about that. I'm really not. Um, and there was some, you know, scene between Yukari and Misaki where they almost, they fall off and her shirt comes up, and I'm just like, oh boy, okay, and they just kind of lay there awkwardly. <laughs> and it was funny when they, um, when uh, Rina and uh, Nisaka found them, and they were walking, um, <laughs> after, the, after the fact, uh, Nisaka, Nisaka said to Yukari, did you bang? <laughs> oh, so funny, I was like, oh my gosh, but, um, there was also, I, oh gosh, Nisaka's such a, like, <laughs> like, I hate, it stinks that he's, like, you know, gay and everything, because I'm like, he's really cute, and when he did the nya thing, I was just like, Stop being cute. I know you're gay and I can't. No, stop it. <laughs> oh my gosh. But, um, yeah, they all have this moment where they all, you know, look at fireflies and uh, I'm just like, okay, yeah. He wants to be friends with Nisaka. He has a future marriage partner. He has Nisaki he's in love with. And I'm just like, oh boy, this is a show, man. <laughs> it is quite something already. Right. This episode has been probably my least favorite, actually, because it was just kind of there and just kind of slow and boring. I mean, it had some good moments, but it was just kind of like, eh, okay. But the next episode, because the way this one ended, well, something's gonna happen. Some special training. Somebody got a letter from the place who gives out the matchmaking stuff, and it said special training, and I think it's gonna be for Yukari and Rina. I don't know whose house it was sent to, but it was sent to one of them. Um, and I'm just watching the preview, and it looks like Rinina is being pushed down on a bed. There's a condom. She's holding a condom, and I'm just like, okay. Okay. Um, yeah, that's, uh, I bet Love Hotel is involved. Possibly. Maybe. I'm not exactly sure, really. I could be wrong. It looks like there's a few new characters being thrown in. Also, the ending's different. The ending, like, the visuals were different. Um, that was a thing. Also, what happened to that girl who talked to Misaki with the white hair in the previous episode? She was in the ending now. Um, but what happened to her? What's her deal? But, man, though. Yeah. The next episode will quite be something for sure. So what do you guys think of this episode of Love and Lies or Koi to Uso? What do you think's gonna happen next? Is Rinina and Yukari? Was that even Yukari? Cause like, I don't know. <laughs> it could be a totally different person. But that would be weird. I bet it's Yukari. But he doesn't seem like the kind of guy to do that, you know? So maybe it's not. <laughs> what do you guys think of the episode? What do you think's gonna happen next? I'll see you guys in whatever I review next. Bye!